The call to become a discalced Carmelite nun is a call to the purely contemplative cloistered life. Our life of prayer, love, and sacrifice is the hidden apostolic force which Carmel offers to the Church. Our Holy Mother Saint Teresa of Jesus, foundress and reformer of the discalced Carmelites, impressed upon her daughters the necessity of praying continually for the many needs of the Church, the world, and particularly for priests. The sisters' whole lives are to be offered for these intentions. The life of a Carmelite is first and foremost a life of continual prayer, which St. Teresa defined as friendship with God, an intimate sharing between friends or taking time to be alone with the one we know loves us. Our Carmelite rule of life makes prayer its central precept. Each one of you is to remain in his cell or near it, meditating day and night on the law of the Lord and watching in prayer. Contemplative silence and solitude are essential to creating an atmosphere in which a life of prayer and recollection may be lived. It is not an emptiness, but is filled with the presence of God. Silence and solitude force us to look within ourselves and seek friendship with Christ, who is always present. Enclosure, silence, and solitude are the conditions laid down by the Church as the official way to live the contemplative life within the Church. The day is arranged so as to give priority to the witness of prayer. Holy Mass and the Divine Office, the official prayer of the Church, are the Carmelites' principal work for interceding for the Church and the world. The nuns sanctify the whole day with liturgical prayer by returning to the choir several times for the celebration of the successive hours of the Divine Office. At the heart of community life is the abiding presence of Christ, whom Holy Mother Teresa calls our companion in the Most Blessed Sacrament. Two hours daily are devoted to solitary prayer before the Blessed Sacrament, with benediction and Eucharistic adoration on Sundays and solemn feast days. The discalced Carmelite nuns have a special devotion to Our Lady. Our official title is the Order of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel. Mary is our ideal model of contemplative prayer. She is the disciple par excellence, the one who listens to the Word of God and ponders it in her heart. The scapular is a sign of belonging to the Order or being affiliated with it spiritually. It is a sign of Mary's maternal protection. Every Saturday in Carmel, the Eucharist is celebrated in honor of Our Lady, and the Salve Regina is solemnly chanted. Domestic chores and various types of work which help to support the community, such as knitting, sewing, woodcrafts, designing cards, and administrative work, are carried out in a prayerful and solitary atmosphere, which is the hallmark of Carmel spirit. Community meetings are held once a week to study some aspect of the Carmelite life. Documents issued by the Church concerning the contemplative life or related subjects. 
These are opportunities to grow in formation and to show our commitment to one another while forming a united family. The sharing of sacred scripture, Lectio Divina, challenges us to live the joy of the gospel. St. Teresa stressed the importance of community life. She says, all must be friends, all must be loved, all must be held dear, all must be helped. The sisters meet together twice a day to enjoy each other's company and relax. These are moments for sharing, to strengthen our sisterly bond with one another. A vocation to Carmel is a gift from God. A woman who enters Carmel goes through a stage of initial formation which lasts for nine years. This time of discernment for both her and the community will help them to see if she can live within a cloistered contemplative order. The first stage of formation is aspirancy. The aspirant and the community discern her Carmelite vocation together. The aspirant continues her life in the world, but she is invited to experience life in the cloister, sometimes for extended periods of time. The aspirancy process usually lasts for one year. The period of aspirancy is followed by that of postulancy. The postulant gets both practical experience of and instruction in the religious life and moves gradually from the life of the world to that of the novitiate. This period lasts for one year. Membership in the order begins with the novitiate. Its chief purpose is to enable the novice to have first-hand knowledge and personal experience of the essential requirements of the following of Christ in the way of life proper to our Carmelite and Theresian calling. The period of the novitiate lasts for two years. By her public profession, the novice pledges to live according to the vows of poverty, chastity and obedience, and is consecrated to God for a period of three years. She renews her vows for two more years, for a total of five years, before making solemn vows. The simply professed sister will continue her instruction in Theresian spirituality and live it on a practical level. The religious pronounces her vows forever and becomes a permanent member of the community and the Carmelite order with solemn profession. Formation does not end with solemn profession. Throughout her life, she will continue to keep her eyes fixed on Christ by means of ongoing formation, which will help her deepen her knowledge of God and the Church. Do you feel a stirring in your heart? When all is silent, do you hear the gentle voice? A voice within, deep within, beckoning you to become closer to our Lord Jesus Christ, calling you to embrace a deeper dedication to God as a Carmelite nun. If you believe that God may be calling you to Carmel, please contact us. We're just a phone call or an email away. St. Teresa says, in the measure you desire him, you will find him.